I didn't have the grades to graduate, was accused of vandalism, saved someone from drowning, and got arrested, all in the same week. Oh, but before I get ahead of myself, hi, I'm Maya from California. Please like and subscribe. Ever since I can remember, swimming was my happy place. When I was three, my love of all things aquatic got a little awkward from my parents, who had to keep pulling me out of mall fountains, bird paths, and koi ponds. Excuse me, adults, if you put those signs up and I'm too young to read them, uh, do you see where I'm going with this? Well, by the age of 13, the only job I ever dreamed about was becoming a lifeguard. Being around water, saving people, and hot guys in swimsuits, what's not to love? But on dry land, that's a whole different story. You see, I was not the greatest student, and my mortal enemy was math. Then my dad got a promotion, and we moved into an apartment in the city. And I had to start my senior year at a brand new school. Seriously, Dad, I had just spent the last year sucking up to all my teachers so they would grade me on a generous curve. Where's the respect for all my hard work? Life wasn't any different there. But like divine intervention, I looked up and saw my favorite four-letter word. Okay, seriously, you guys, I know at least half of you just thought of a word that would get you grounded if you said it out loud. I only planned to swim for a few minutes, but I was startled by a gorgeous boy. I said, what are you doing in my pool? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the school pool. A school pool. <laughs> That's funny, get it? Because <laughs> it rhymes. I get it. It's just not funny. And it's my pool, because my family paid for it. He pointed to the plaque on the wall with his family name, and under it a sign. I'm Sebastian Monroe III. And if I catch you in here again, I'll have you arrested. <laughs> arrested? Well, that's a bit dramatic. Did you think I was going to pee in the pool or something? I'm Maya, by the way. I realized I was talking to myself because he had already left. He had the manners of a goat, and that's an insult to goats. I don't get it. Even if his family paid for the pool, it's still the school pool. I have to be on the swim team and prove to him that I'm better than him. I made the team, of course, and beating Sebastian's top score was just the icing on the cake. So I dominated any competition I was in. I figured Sebastian must have told one of his goon buddies to try to scare me for tearing it up on the swim team because I noticed this nerdy looking guy lurking outside the school. I tried to approach him, but he was a tricky little thing and got away. Was Sebastian trying to have me stalked or disappeared? Okay, now I'm being dramatic. You guys ever feel like your mind plays tricks on you because you've watched too many crime movies? I walked back into school and saw something I did not expect. Sebastian was leaning against my locker, looking so handsome, but I kept my cool. Your team wins again. If I had known you were part mermaid, I might not have given you such a hard time. Oh, thank goodness. I was wondering how I would go on living without your approval. Now, excuse me, I need to get to my locker. I'll only move if you agree to go out with me. <laughs> it figures. The only way you could get a date is with blackmail. Okay, I deserved that. But I am trying to make up for being such a jerk to you. I really like you. And I was listening when you introduced yourself, Maya. He leaned in close to me, put his head on my shoulder, and looked up at me. Look, I'm trying to be cute and vulnerable. You guys ever fall for that guy who makes you think, sure, he's a bad boy, but he'll change for me? <sighs> I guess even you deserve a second chance. Awesome. Where do you want to go? Hmm, I have this sudden craving for ice cream. He took me to an upscale dessert place and ordered one of everything. He was charming, and I was falling for him like an apple off an Isaac Newton's tree. Oh hey, I guess I did learn something in class. I thought things are starting to look up, but what do they say about looking up? That's when you trip and faceplant. Yep, I failed my second test. One more and I would get kicked off the swim team. I went to sweet talk the coach, but unfortunately he was allergic to my charm. Thankfully, my parents hired an amazing tutor, Lucy, who knew how to keep me awake, unlike others who snored or were more interested in snacking. And before I knew it, I was doing better on my tests and even got a B plus. And by the way, this Lucy is awesome. But unfortunately, the story isn't about her. But please know she's amazing. Maybe I should tell her story one day. Don't you agree, guys? Also to review, I was dating the hottest guy in school and crushing classes and the swim team. That nerdy guy was still popping up at school, and now that Sebastian and I were dating, I knew he wasn't behind it, so I asked him. Oh, he's probably smitten with you. 
too bad you're taken. But I can't stop thinking about it. You just need a distraction. I'm serious, Sebastian. What if he's... He interrupted my rant with a kiss. If he's what? I was so charmed by his kiss that I forgot what I was saying. Uh, he who? Well played, Sebastian III. Well played. After school that day, I came home, and there was a package at my front door. No return address, just my name on it. I was so excited. It must have been Sebastian surprising me with something wonderful. But when I opened it, the worst smell filled the room. It was a bag of poop. My parents called the police, but they said nothing could be done because there was no one to trace it back to. I made a list of people I thought it could be, like like Amy, whom I told her boyfriend she had kissed someone else, and Tony, who I totally exposed his crush on our teacher. But that creepy, nerdy guy was the number one suspect. I showed it to Sebastian the next day at school. Babe, I'm telling you, it's some girl at school that's jealous of you because you're dating me. Wow. Did the school give you an extra locker for that ego? It's not an ego if it's the truth. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Besides, I have a romantic date planned for us that will take your mind off of all this. I'll pick you up at your house at 7. I decided to focus on our date and get creepy nerd guy off my brain. I jumped in my closet for some great chimichus to go with my dress and started to wonder where Sebastian would take me. But he never showed. I called and texted, nothing. I was really worried and rushed over to his house. When I showed up, there were police cars everywhere, and my heart sank like the Titanic, thinking something had happened to Sebastian, until I saw him standing next to his car. Sebastian, oh, thank God you're okay. Then I noticed his car. Someone had spray painted, Sebastian is a loser, he can't swim. My parents think you did this. All that misspelling? Well, that's just insulting. I'm bad at math, not English. If you're gonna try to frame someone, do your homework. Just as I was about to defend myself, his mom rushed toward me. Is this the monster who did this to my baby? Well, you're lucky there isn't enough evidence to arrest you or you would spend the rest of your life in jail. Oh, Sebastian, why do you insist on living that low lifestyle? I mean, does it even know about personal hygiene? She walked off in a huff, and I was stunned and hurt. I went to Sebastian for comfort, but instead he yelled loud enough for his parents to hear. I don't care how cute you think it was. We're over. You know I would never do this. It must be that creepy guy. But he just walked away. What just happened? How could he not believe me? I ran away with tears in my eyes and spent the whole night eating half of the world's junk food. The next day at school, Sebastian met me with a big hug and a romantic kiss, like everything was normal. How many personalities am I dating? Sorry about the show last night, babe. It was just to get my parents off my back. You know how parents are. We'll just have to keep our love a secret for a while, and then I will fix everything. Trust me. But you were so mean to me, and you let everyone believe I would do that. Well, yeah, of course. And I did it all for you. I didn't want my mom to get you kicked off the swim team. I was relieved. He really did care about me. I wasn't thrilled about the way he did it, but, you know, boys aren't that bright, and he probably did the best he could. Besides, what do you care about what my parents think? You have me, and that's all that matters. Let's just focus on the senior beach bash tonight and forget them. Well, I have been looking forward to this all year, so I'll meet you there. Once I arrived, I could hear music blasting and see a huge campfire. Sebastian was waiting at the gate for me, but I noticed there was a padlock at the entrance. Come this way. We have to go through the tear in the fence. I'm a little nervous about this. Are you sure we're not breaking the law? What's the big deal? Everyone else is already there. Besides, do you see any signs telling us to stay out? Well, against my better judgment, I agreed. We had fun, and he danced around like a reject from America's Got Talent, but he was cute. Halfway through the night, Sebastian disappeared. I asked if anyone had seen him, and someone said he went to get some pizzas. I was thinking how weird it was that he didn't tell me. Like, my boyfriend had ghosted me. I just wanted to go home. Suddenly, a guy screamed that some girl had fallen into the water and was sinking. I knew I could swim faster than I could run. Acting quickly, I tore off the bottom of my dress so it wouldn't weigh me down and dove in. It was cold, but all I kept thinking was that I had to save her. I reached her in minutes and swam her to shore. Her boyfriend thanked me a thousand times, and I could feel their love for each other as her boyfriend embraced her in turn. I was so tired that I laid down on the sand. 
My teeth were chattering when someone wrapped the jacket around my shoulders from behind. Are you okay? That was some pretty heroic stuff. It was the creepy nerdy guy. You! Why are you following me? Did you send me that poop? What are you even doing here? My interrogation was rudely interrupted by the police showing up and arresting everyone for trespassing. I knew sneaking through a hole in a fence was shady. When we were at the police station waiting for our parents, I saw that guy again. I ran up to confront him. I don't know what your weird fascination is with me, but I'm only gonna warn you once. Stay away. I understand you might think that, but I wasn't following you. I've been following your boyfriend, Sebastian. Sebastian? Uh, you have a crush on Sebastian? No, but I was, in a way, stalking him. Did you notice that your boyfriend managed to disappear before the police came? I really wanted to argue with him, but he was right. Where the heck was Sebastian? I was released, but my parents were so disappointed. And worst of all, Sebastian was nowhere to be found. I even went to his house when I knew his parents were out, but he wasn't there either. But I saw that creepy guy again. Where is he? And what's the drama? Start explaining. Actually, I found out he's in hiding because he was the one who called the police. Then he showed me pictures on his phone of Sebastian making a call at the beach. Well, that doesn't prove anything, and you still haven't said why you are stalking him. I do freelance work for a tabloid magazine, and they pay big bucks for any dirt on millionaire playboys. Well, listen here, stalkerazzi. Albert. Fine, Albert. When Sebastian shows up, he will have an explanation for all of this. And what will his explanation be for taking down the no trespassing signs at the beach? Sending you a box of poop? Or vandalizing his own car just to get a new car by making you feel bad? And did you know he also switched your test so you would fail? What are you talking about? He showed me everything. I was crushed. How could I have fallen for such an evil mastermind? I have all the photos saved to this USB to give to my editor tonight. Then, out of nowhere, Sebastian ripped the USB out of Albert's hand and swallowed it. And now it's my word against yours. I thought the next time I saw him, I would run to his arms, but instead I slapped him. I pinned him against the wall, but Albert held me back before I could slap him again. You might be rich, but you could be outsmarted by a box of hair. You do know they are still on the cloud, right? Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Well, that's not how I wanted to get my USB back. You know, you've got some pretty strong arms under that nerdy exterior. Albert showed the pictures to the police, and Sebastian went to jail. It turns out Sebastian was just a spoiled brat who wanted to get even with me for bruising his ego. Apparently his friends laughed at him when I kicked his butt on the swim team. <sighs> get a life, dude. I'm sorry if I creeped you out with all the sneaking around. It was kinda weird, but I'm sorry I was quick to judge you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. He may not have been as good looking as Sebastian, but as I stared into his eyes, I could see he was so thoughtful and kind, and that was way more attractive. Yep, I think I'm gonna date this guy. But I have to end the story for now. Sorry guys, be careful who you call your boyfriends. That's my advice. See ya!